three-year-old Philly Trotters are on deck and a $650,000 purse up for grabs in this spot. There's a look at the field and we'll take a look back uh, at some of the history of this three-year-old Philly Trot division. The stakes record of 152 was established last year when Hoosier Park in Indiana hosted the Breeders' Crown. Uh, they've become a wonderful host location for the Breeders' Crown Series. Next level stuff stopped the clock there last year in 152. The record purse was a few years back, 2009, $650,000. So the purse this year will equal that mark. Yeah, $650,000, the richest purse that these Phillies have gone for. How about this? Brian Sears has absolutely dominated this event. Six victories uh, in this event. He's going to have a little bit of a long shot here with the eight adoration. Uh, you've got Tron Smedshammer with four victories in the uh, series as well. And that combination teamed up just uh, two years ago with a filly named Win V. Interesting stat from this race. Uh, it has been three years, Greg, since we've had a Ushua Divisional Champion come from this race, which is shocking to me. Uh, the last one to do it was Ariana G back in 2017. I mean, we've had some really nice uh, fillies. I mean, Atlanta's six years old. You know, she didn't win a Breeders' Crown, obviously, and, uh, you know, she still probably took home the Divisional Champion. The last horse to be Pacer of the Year was Shake and Carry, excuse me, Trotter of the Year, uh, was Shake and Carry back in 2014, and the Great Beard Magician back in 2013 was the last horse of the year that came from this race. So if uh, we can take something away from that, it's the fact that the, the headliners, at least in recent years, or the big guns coming in, haven't been able to get it done in the Breeders' Crown. Uh, will that trend continue here? If so, that won't be good news for Bella Bellini or Alter, uh, both impressive in their elimination victories and both look very good as they move up to the starting gate. It's the three-year-old Philly Trot final next. Once again, Ken Workington. For this Breeders' Crown Final, three-year-old Philly Trot, $650,000 presented by Lipfeld Cats Breeding Partnership. They're on gate. Here they come. And the Phillies are off and uh, trotting. It's Alter shooting out of there. Iteration from the outside with Hercules, uh, early speed. Bella Bellini's put in play. Amazon Duhara on the rail, four across the track. James McDonald guns Amazon Duhara. Bella Bellini on the outside, and Alter is three deep and driving, and four wide now. Three wide is Iteration, fourth and gaining. Uh, Shirley Goodness settles in fifth past the quarter. Hercules is sixth, followed by Chablis, seventh. Then comes Anoka, Hanover, and Splash, Blue Chip, and You Auto Dream. 28 opens it up here. Two wide across the back stretch. They go. Alter takes over on a break. Iteration. Iteration broke. Bell Bella Bellini now pockets up here behind Alter. The elimination winners, 1-2. Amazon Duhara is trotting in third. It's Shirley Goodness fourth, a loose fourth at this point. Hercules a fifth on the inside. Shooting a gap is Splash Blue Chip, then Chablis on the outside with Anoka Hanover and Yu Auto Dream. Still on a gallop. Iteration, the half 56 and 428 for rating. Alter in front onto the far turn, stocked by Bella Bellini. Perfect trip so far. Amazon Duhara on the inside. Third, Hercules inches up uncovered. Fourth on the outside. That's a toe for Chablis following that cover. Now fifth, a shuffle for Shirley Goodness and Splash Blue Chip to the outside. Anoka Hanover is a third over right now. You Auto Dream has to pass the pack here as they pass three quarters. And it's Alter in front there. Bella Bellini is poised from the pocket spot, 125 and four. A well-rated Alter, the one to gun down. Bella Bellini and uh, Alter broke. Alter went off stride and off the course. So that leaves it all to Bella Bellini. Hercules is full out. Late trot from Anoka Hanover now into second. But it's Bella Bellini who locks it down in the Breeders' Crown. Dexter Dunn and Bella Bellini. Bella Bellini takes it over Anoka Hanover. Then it was close. Either Shirley Goodness, maybe Splash Blue Chip in that photo, 153. Bella Bellini, uh, it was uh, debatable whether uh, she was going to be able to make the move in the stretch and win, but uh, any doubt was uh, <sighs> taken away quickly when Alter, who appeared to be cruising on the lead, rolled off stride at a critical time. So Bella Bellini inherits the lead, and uh, once that happened, uh, the 
end result never in doubt. 27 and 1 on the end to cap off a 153 victory. Uh, gets her 10th win of the season, now a Breeders' Crown Trophy, another 300 and 25,000 on the card puts her over 1 million on the season. Looks like Anoka Hanover got up for second tight for show here between Splash Blue Chip and Hercules. Uh, but uh, as the replay gets ready to come up here, high drama through the stretch. It looked like Alter was going to just cruise home to an easy victory. And unfortunately for uh, Nancy Tactor and Yannick Chingra, just did not happen. But Bella Bellini just you know, she might have secured the votes here to be the divisional champion. Uh, she's done a lot of really good things this year and obviously the benefit of uh, the breaking horse. But, you know, they, it doesn't when you put it in the record books, they don't say how you won the race. No, absolutely not. And uh, as mentioned, I mean, she was getting a perfect two hole trip. It was going to come down to, I think, uh, the three and the five, the two favorites and uh, a final quarter sprint. We were kind of getting excited with anticipation to watch that battle develop. And unfortunately, uh, Alter took herself out of the equation. So Bella Bellini, uh, another win for her and the dream season continues. $4,000 banked last year as a, as a rookie, this year a million dollars as a sophomore. Trainer Richard Nifty Norman with his second crown victory in the division, as mentioned earlier, won with Be a Magician back in 2000 and 13. Dexter Dunn getting congratulated. Uh, his second Breeders' Crown victory of the weekend. Uh, first of the day. Scores here with Bella Bellini giving Richard Nifty Norman his second uh, crown title in the three-year-old Philly Trot category. David McDuffie, longtime owner from Delray Beach, Florida. And uh, he has had a tremendous uh, history in the game as well, especially teaming up with uh, Nifty. And there's a look at a very happy Dave McDuffie hoisting the prestigious Breeders' Crown Trophy and another who has earned that invite into the TVG final. Congratulations again to the Connections. Tenth victory of the season, as mentioned, and uh, the lion's share of the purse going to put her slightly over the $1 million mark. Uh, this daughter of bar hopping making some noise, as is the stallion bar hopping. Yeah, bar hopping, making some noise, along with some of the other top stallions in, uh, you know, Walner, Muscle Hill, who's been a dominant force over the New Jersey circuit. Uh, you know, some competitive, competitive sires, uh, especially right here in the great state of New Jersey uh, with uh, Muscle Hill and Walner joining the fray. All right, we've got the Cats uh, Libfeld uh, Breeding Partnership sponsoring the race. Big thank you to them. A uh, pair of the most prominent breeders in the sport based uh, up in the Toronto area as well. So just awaiting uh, the prices here as we hit the midway the point on Breeders' Crown Saturday. A beautiful one at the Big M. There's a look at the pair mutual returns. Bella Bellini was the slight second choice in the wagering. She pays 520, but with a couple of the long shots in behind, including Anoka Hanover. That was a, a good result for her as she's trying to bounce back uh, this season. She was second, 50 cent try, and then a 10 cent super worth just over $153.